The morning delivery of the Financial Times to the newspaper's London headquarters came with a difference. Spoof copies of the famous pink-coloured journal were put together by anti-capitalism campaigners. They hoped to provoke public debate ahead of next week's crucial meeting of G20 leaders in the city. This is one of the Frank's architects, who has concealed his identity. It's a criticism of how we're living and uh, what we're failing to do to make good on uh, the promises that our leaders make to us about what they're going to do for us. We have to make them stick to their promises and actually uh, deliver the kind of world that we want to live in. Volunteers handed out the 12-page paper to commuters at London's Waterloo Station. Organisers said they gave away thousands. The project cost less than $14,000 and was partly funded by internet donations. A series of demonstrations in London are planned to coincide with the G20 summit. Professor Chris Knight has organised next Wednesday's G20 Meltdown Financial Fools Day protests. He's been suspended by the University of East London for allegedly inciting violence against bankers. But Knight remains defiant. We're not going to be eating a banker. We're not going to be um, burning a banker. We're not going to be hanging a banker. The whole point of having an effigy is to let us hang or burn or eat the effigy. It's, it's humour, but if we're not allowed to laugh, of course, it gets a bit different and it can get nasty. Knight has pledged to target businesses in the city which failed to switch off their lights on Saturday. On the same day, a trade union-backed march has been organised in central London. Wednesday's planned demonstrations have worried city firms. Bankers have been blamed by many for precipitating the financial crisis. Many have been warned by their bosses to dress down. A massive police presence is expected amid fears that levels of anger among activists are running dangerously high.